short delivery and it's put away. Now don't bowl there, they're waiting for it. What a wonderful pick up through the leg side for four. That's played away on the onside, she'll pick up a boundary. Straight down the ground, one bounce into the fence. Yes! In there! And that will be consumed, taken by the field at uh, mid-on. India lose their first for 20, 38 for one. Yes! Looking for a pull, she gets it. Uh, over the field at mid -wicket. another boundary for the left-handed Smriti Mandana. Looking to flake through the offside edges and it's dropped. That's away through the gap. Work to do. Oh, work to do, work to do, but not good enough. Down the ground. Beautiful shot. Back to back boundaries. Oh, well, Hemlata decides to take on the off spinner. This is exactly what I was waiting for as well. Hate that too. She went down the wrong line to the right hand of Shangase and is paying for it. Yes. Oh. Top shot. She did make room for herself. Chance. Ritter's getting under it. Backward point as well. A collision does happen, but there is a wicket that South Africa will feel very pleased about. Shot. Great shot. 27th career ODI 50 for Smriti Mandana. Fourth ODI 50 against South Africa. Next. Mid off was brought in again. But if you bowl that kind of full tosses, she'll punish you the whole evening and the rest of the innings. Muscled by the Indian captain. Off the edge, that'll run away to the boundary. Airy fairy drive from Arman Pete's car. Looking to go over the top, and that just eludes Kaka at mid on. That's gloriously driven through the offside. Goes big down the ground, and that will be declared a four. She finds the gap with ease. And she looks so good when she plays through the offside as Smithy Mandana. One more going through the gap. Taken on the full, hammered away on the onside. And she will get a boundary. In there, oh, what's going on? Another chance going uh, down here at the Chinasami Stadium. Bludgeon down the ground by Harman Pekar. And she picks the gap as well. And they're through, and she gets the second century back to back. Hundreds for Smriti Mandana. Century number seven for her in the ODIs. And she equals Mithali Raj, who's also got seven centuries in the ODIs for India. Terrific effort this from Smriti Mandana. And uh, the Bengaluru crowd are delighted and ecstatic. First Indian women cricketer to score two back-to-back -back century. Eases it through the offside and she reaches uh, a half century. Another terrific innings from the Indian skipper and she made it look so easy. A good effort from the skipper. Smriti Mandana continues in her merry ways, accepting the gifts being offered by the South African bowlers. There's a fielder, but does find the gap. Distance, timing, placement, just not enough for Harman Kritkor. Excellent work by Sunay Luce. But still, another chance goes down for South Africa. That's a good start of the over. Nearly, nearly kept the fielder interested, but it's Harman Preetkor 
When she hits the ball from the middle of the bat, it stays it. <laughs> Following Smriti Mandana here again. Should be at least a couple of runs now. It's in the bound, it's in the gap. Four more. There she goes, gets to that ball and slashes it past over that point fielder. Still eludes the fielder. Class. This is toying with the bowling now and the field placement as well. Dismissed. This time goes straight to the fielder. Brilliant century there by Smriti, trying to take on the bowler. Too full this time to get it over that covers fielder. Easy catch for Tasman Brits. Gone for 136, it's 271 for three. Finds the gap, Richard Ghosh this time. Down the ground. There's enough elevation in that stroke. That's trademark Harman Preet Kaur style. That's Richa Ghosh for you. Through the gap again. Over those practice pitches. It's going to be a tough chase. Gets another outside edge. Runs past the practice wickets and gets four more. Four more. Oh, another opportunity. Miss stumping on this occasion. Four more. Through the gap. Underneath that. Good enough. Sixth ODI 100 for the Indian captain. Harman Preet Kaur came in for a purpose. She's held her nerve, she's held her concentration, and she's got that three figure mark. Well played, Harman Preet Kaur. Anti climax on the last ball of the game. Wanting to hit the ball outside. Runs, timing, and a boundary. Shoveled away for four. First wicket for the debutant. Anandati ready strikes. And it's Tasman Brits who will make the walk back. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Square of the wicket. Fantastic shot down the ground. Back to back boundaries. But at the moment, it's Dipti Sharma seeing Jamima Rodriguez let one go through for a boundary. Yes. Looking to go over the top but doesn't get hold of it. And uh, it's taken. And that's by Jamima Rodriguez. That's the end of Bosch. A wicket for Dipti Sharma. Down the ground, and she will get a boundary for that. She finds the gap, and it will run away to the boundary. Oh, that's it. There's an edge. She picks up a wicket. This has been a master stroke here by Hanuman Preet. And uh, she gives a gift as uh, Smithy Mandana to cap, put away easily. Head over the top. Downtown, and that clears the boundary too. Goes up and over, one bounce into the fence. Goes over the top and clears the mid-on fielder. Off the edge, that'll run away. This outfield is fast. Stop that! That should be four. Perfectly played. Through the gap for a boundary. There's a fielder! She tried her best, Jemima Rodriguez, put in the dive. Ball just going slightly away from her. 
Boundary to Marazan Cup. Four more. This is even better than the previous one. It is definitely an asset for South Africa. 32nd half century for the South African captain Laura Wolfart. She's up for this chase. 16th half century for Marizan Cup. What a trusted lieutenant she has been for South African cricket. A job just half done, but well appreciated by the dressing room. 146 for three. Poor ball. Slightly forced, but effective for South Africa and for Marizan Cup. Goes big and clears the boundary as well. Nice sound from the bat. One bounce. Rivers employed. Big shout from the bowler and the keeper. But that has crossed the boundary line. That's clever cricket from Marzan Cup. That's hit away. Straight down the ground. Laura Wolfo's eyes in. She's ready. It's flat batted. Beats the fielder as well. Did she get bat on it? Did she get the bat on it? She's coming back for the second. Wait for the umpire's decision. The confirmation from the dressing room. There was bat on that. Third hundred for Marazan Cup. Earlier two occasions, it was against the Pakistan team. It's first against India. And what an occasion this is. Top shot, there's a fielder. If there was any more excitement that was required in the field, we've just got it. It's in the air, and it's over the infield. It's in the air, an opportunity has been offered. Has it been taken cleanly? Pooja Vasakar is claiming it. Deepthi Sharma is happy that she's broken this partnership of 184 runs. 800 for the South African captain. And first against India. Well played, Laura Wolfart. The South African run machine continues on a merry way. 31.50s, 800s. Gone over 4,000 one-day runs. Six. And down the ground for four. That also goes to show that with this boundary coming in, Goes big, not much a prediction there. It's a chase for Radha, though she can't stop it. Down the ground, that's a clean strike. There's enough for it, and that crosses the line. Great strike this from Narindi Clark. That full toss will perhaps come to haunt Arundhati Reddy at some time. And I hope not, because still, South Africa need 11. But at the moment, they're 315 for four. Radha Yadav will pick it up. And Nadindi Clark is left to do something special here. Another full toss off the edge, he runs away to the boundary. Going for a big hit, has it got enough? No! It's taken at long on. Dick Clark obviously had to go for it, but doesn't get the distance. This is a very important wicket for India. Sangase on strike, six needed. And she gives a straight forward catch to Radha Yadav, looking to play an expansive drive. Vasraka on a hat trick. What is Rida do? She's got to go for a big hit. Lara Wolfhard is scrambled across. She has done the right thing. She needs to be on strike. Uh, Puja Vasraka does uh, well to restrict. And India won by four runs. But they had to work hard to earn this victory. And India win by four runs and lead the series 2-0.